Oh, into the spooky camper. Daylight savings. In the eastern portion of the United States. There's no fun. All right, here is the tank, water tank. We need to figure out what walls to cut out in order to get this tank out of there um, so that I can get it out and test it. Cut out the whole front portion of the camper framework, expose the tank. There she is. Freshwater tank. For length we have Call it 33 usable inches. Width is 11. Let's call it 11. Height is. Let's call it 17. So 33 times 11 times 17 equals calculator. 6,171 cubic inches, and the formula to get gallons out of that is divide that by 231. 26.7 gallons. It was probably advertised as a 30 gallon tank, but that's the calculation. Let's see if it leaks. Assessing the tank, got it all cleaned up. This is the main fill, this is the vent. There, there's no problems up there, they're not gonna be underwater. Here is the configuration for the fittings that was on in the bungs of this tank. So this is a 3 8 these are both 3 8 MPT threads. This ball valve is broken and it also leaked at the you know, connection here. They had pipe tape on there so it was obviously a problem. This was the 90 elbow which also leaked out of the fitting. So, trying to figure out what I'm going to do here. I purchased a new elbow which seems to go in nicely so we're going to tighten that up see how that goes that's to feed the pump this is for the ball valve just for the drain i have a 3 8 um, mpt to male to barb fitting that i heated up some half inch pex and just shoved it over it and then i have a half inch pex ball valve we got the next filling station it's not the black tank for all you people that remember that. Now we're working on a fresh tank. So here's the scenario for the pump inlet. Here's the scenario for which will eventually be an elbow to a drain for the tank. So we're gonna see how well this works once it gets under a lot of pressure and I might have to put a hose clamp there but I doubt it just for good measure. All right, we got a leak the MPT plastic fitting to the tank on the bung on the tank is leaking and no surprise that's where I thought it was gonna leak because the fitting bottomed out onto the bung uh, it's probably just worn out threads from people fooling with it in the years probably gonna have to tape it I don't want to tape it it's plastic on plastic but I don't know what else to do we got to try it on this is an example on the threads putting probably four wraps of pipe tape and then on top of that a thin layer of this pipe dope and I let it sit for a couple minutes just to set the dope tank is plumb full been full for a couple minutes that one's dry dry Getting the tank framework started. Just putting down some, some uh, couple pieces there to keep it in place.
drilling the hole through the floor for the drain on the tank. So now, this piece is going to go on here. Just like that. And there's your drain. Here is the tank installed with the pump. There's our little gauge there, sight gauge for the level. Got the first, obviously this wall in here. We got the pump in there with the crazy input. Hopefully that works. We'll find that out in a later video. I am gonna cut out a hole here and add a access port for cleaning out the tank and I'll make the step that is gonna go here removable, easily removable, to be able to access the tank to clean it out anytime you need to.